back to our YouTube channel. If you are new here make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. It's important to note that certain activities such as using Wireshark to listen to phone calls are not only unethical but also illegal. Wireshark is a powerful network protocol analyzer that can be used for troubleshooting and analyzing network traffic. It is a valuable tool for network administrators and cybersecurity professionals, but it should be used responsibly and within the bounds of the law. Misusing Wireshark to intercept private communications can lead to serious legal consequences. Instead, focus on using Wireshark for legitimate purposes, such as monitoring network performance, identifying security vulnerabilities, and troubleshooting network issues. By using Wireshark ethically, you can gain valuable insights into your network's behavior and improve its overall performance. Remember, the goal is to use technology to enhance our capabilities and solve problems, not to invade privacy or break the law. So let's dive into the world of network analysis with a clear understanding of our responsibilities and the ethical use of tools like Wireshark. Ethical Concerns Providing information that could be used to violate someone's privacy is unethical and potentially illegal. Legal Ramifications Unauthorized interception of phone calls is a serious crime in most jurisdictions. Sharing information that facilitates such activities could have legal consequences. Instead of trying to listen to someone else's phone calls, I encourage you to explore the many ethical and legal uses of Wireshark, such as network troubleshooting, optimizing network performance, and ensuring security compliance. Wireshark is a powerful tool that can help you understand the intricacies of network protocols and data packets. By using it ethically, you can contribute to a safer and more efficient digital environment. For instance, network administrators often use Wireshark to diagnose network issues. When a network is slow or experiencing connectivity problems, Wireshark can help pinpoint the exact cause whether it's a misconfigured device, a faulty cable, or an overloaded server. This kind of troubleshooting is not only legal but also essential for maintaining the health of an organization's IT infrastructure. Moreover, Wireshark can be used for educational purposes. Students and professionals alike can use it to learn about network protocols, data transmission, and cybersecurity practices. By analyzing real-time data, they can gain hands-on experience that is invaluable in the tech industry. Educational institutions often incorporate Wireshark into their curriculum to provide practical knowledge that complements theoretical learning. Another ethical use of Wireshark is in performance optimization. By analyzing network traffic, you can identify bottlenecks and optimize the flow of data. This can lead to faster load times for websites, more efficient data transfer, and an overall better user experience. Companies rely on these optimizations to ensure their services run smoothly and efficiently. Lastly, Wireshark can be a vital tool in ensuring compliance with security standards. By monitoring network traffic, organizations can detect unauthorized access attempts, data breaches, and other security threats. This proactive approach helps in safeguarding sensitive information and maintaining trust with clients and customers. In summary, Wireshark offers a multitude of ethical and legal applications that can benefit both individuals and organizations. By focusing on these positive uses, you can harness the full potential of this powerful tool while adhering to ethical standards. Network troubleshooting. Wireshark is a powerful tool for identifying and resolving network issues. Security analysis. It can be used to analyze network traffic for malicious activity. Protocol learning. Wireshark is a great way to learn about how different network protocols work. Remember, it's crucial to use your knowledge responsibly and ethically. Always respect people's privacy and be aware of the legal boundaries surrounding network monitoring. If you're interested in learning more about the ethical and legal aspects of cybersecurity, there are numerous resources available that can help you deepen your understanding and stay updated with the latest developments in the field. I recommend looking into resources from organizations like the Electronic Frontier Foundation, which is dedicated to defending civil liberties in the digital world. The EFF provides a wealth of information on topics such as privacy, free expression, and security. Their website offers articles, white papers, and guides that can help you navigate the complex landscape of digital rights and cybersecurity. 
Another excellent resource is the National Cybersecurity Alliance. The NCSA focuses on building a safer, more secure, and more trusted internet by educating and empowering users to take control of their digital security. Their website features a variety of tools and resources, including tips for protecting your personal information, best practices for online safety, and information on the latest cyber threats. Additionally, there are many books and academic courses available that delve into the ethical and legal dimensions of cybersecurity. Books like Cybersecurity Law provide comprehensive insights into the legal frameworks governing cyber activities, while online courses from universities and platforms like Coursera and EDX offer structured learning paths that cover a wide range of topics, from basic principles to advanced concepts. Webinars and virtual conferences are also great ways to stay informed about the latest trends and issues in cybersecurity. These events often feature experts from the field who share their knowledge and experiences, providing valuable insights that can help you stay ahead of emerging threats and challenges. Participating in workshops and hands-on training sessions can further enhance your skills and understanding. These interactive sessions allow you to apply theoretical knowledge in practical scenarios, giving you a deeper appreciation of the complexities involved in cybersecurity. Networking with professionals in the field is another important aspect of further learning. Attending conferences and joining professional organizations can help you connect with peers, mentors, and industry leaders, providing opportunities for collaboration and knowledge sharing. Finally, Staying engaged with the cybersecurity community through blogs, forums, and social media can keep you informed about the latest news, trends, and discussions. Many experts regularly share their insights and analyses online, making it easier for you to stay updated and continue learning. In summary, there are numerous avenues for further learning in the field of cybersecurity. By leveraging these resources, you can enhance your knowledge, stay informed about the latest developments, and contribute to a safer digital world. Let's explore the fascinating world of technology responsibly. Chapter 27. Reveal all Wi-Fi passwords using Python, ethical hacking. We'll learn how to find saved Wi-Fi passwords on your computer using Python step by step, but only do this on your own networks and with permission from the owner. Outro, thanks for watching. We covered a lot in this course. You learned Python basics, used important libraries, and made some cool cybersecurity tools. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more Python and cybersecurity content, and I'll see you in the next one. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the world of ethical hacking, hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. Until next time, stay safe, stay ethical, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.